Okay, welcome back to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah. Again, this is Introduction to Relativity and Quantum Mechanics. Let's move on now to Lecture 2 on Galilean Relativity. Let's start with just an introduction to the subject. Um, we've already discussed that there are some quantities in physics, many quantities in physics and mechanics, um, that are only meaningful uh, once you specify a particular reference frame. So what are some of these? quantities. Well, we've already discussed speed or velocity. Um, related to that, of course, momentum, uh, energy, uh, like kinetic energy, for example. Uh, we've also seen how the electromagnetic field uh, depends on the reference frame specified. We saw that in the example of the charge and the charged rod and a moving observer you see a magnetic field in addition to an electric field okay and again the big question is is how do you transform these quantities from one reference frame one inertial reference frame to another. Okay, so and again I forgot to write inertial just like I forgot to say it. Okay, so, and this this question, this question of relativity, has been around for a long time. And, and the prevailing point of view has evolved over time. Okay, so let's let's do just a sort of a very brief and rough timeline here. Okay, let's start at something which we consider relatively ancient. 320 BC. Uh, here Aristotle proposed um, that all heavenly bodies revolve around the earth, around a stationary earth. Okay, so this is obviously called the Earth-centered model. Okay. Then, much later, this, I, well, there was probably basically no consensus on the matter, but uh, much later in 1540, it's so almost 2,000 years later, uh, Copernicus Uh, proposed that all heavenly bodies revolve around a stationary sun. And so this is the sun centered model. Now, this is much simpler. This is complicated because it's further from the truth and so to make it work you have to make all kinds of interesting and unusual assumptions. 